I'm just going to show my skin because you haven't seen it before and it looks so cool. It's like it's because of Redstone is epic, it's got a basically a redstone hoodie guy. Pretty cool. Buddy, and welcome to another tutorial with me, Resto is Epic. And in this tutorial, I'll be explaining and showing you how to install Minecraft resource packs, uh, resource packs slash texture packs. Basically, yeah. <laughs> so if you're like, just if you're wondering how to download. There's packs and text packs. There's, oh look, that YouTuber. I wonder how you get all that stuff, all that different textures and stuff on Minecraft. Well, that's what I'm answering for you today. Basically, resource packs plus texture packs. It doesn't really matter what you say. But I usually call them texture packs. No reason why got used to saying it but anyway they are they are packs you can download from the internet or make yourself that changes the way each block each appearance of minecraft looks it could be anything could be anything and then this there's this cool um you can go to a website which you can like make your own which is easier than going through all the folders and all that got those called but I'll figure out and I'll put a link to their website in the description to show you how to get there and make your own but it does take a while so th think carefully of what you want it to be like before you start making it because it'll take hours I won't say hours, you just need a lot of time to think about it before you actually do it and have a look at the options. Anyway, so the first step of downloading texture packs is you want to go to your browser, could be Google Chrome, is it a Firefox, in Internet Explorer, Microsoft Edge, so on and so forth. And when you're in your browser, you want to search texture packs or resource packs, depends how you say it. But I'll spec specify a version of Minecraft. Some versions add new blocks to the game, and the, the resource packs won't have changed those new blocks, if you get what I mean. So, for example, I'll be in 1.8.9. Um, so you search that, or you could you could put lists at the end, something like that. Find a website. Doesn't matter what link you go to. And then find a resource pack. Could be it could be anything from the list of one point eight point nine or whatever version you're looking for. So. Keep on looking down. See, see what you want. Alright, guys, I found one, and it's called OGZ Craft Resource Pack for Minecraft 1.9 slash 1.8.9. <clears throat> so you click the link if you're on Minecraft. X. Usually, it's always a link anyway. So go to a different page this is just telling you about like the pack and yeah so you go to I don't really go on microsix.com that much so the so shout out to official gone zero so you find the download link 
and you click it. And it will go to like either um it'll go to some sort of download website, either Media Fire or something like that. And just let it load and download. X out of any pop ups, then click open folder if you're in 1.10. If you're not, you can just save it as save it to your desktop. Because what we're going to do now is we're just going to move it to the desktop because it makes it easier. So when it's on the desktop, in X out of your um internet your browser and you'll see the zip file it doesn't matter if you extract it or not I would because otherwise the actual name and um, when you go into the resource pack options will say um dot zip at the end I would extract it now it's all loaded on my desktop so with the um, extracted file, you can delete the zipped one, don't really matter about that anymore. And now you need to find the Minecraft folder. And the easy way to do that is go to go to if you're on Windows 10, go to the search bit. And if you're not, then just um, go to start and search in there or pro in all just search in there so what you want to search is percent app data percent and then you press enter and this will come up and as well you can do it and it might make it easier if you go to the run program but I don't know whether it works or doesn't on Windows and any other Windows. But I know that on Windows 10, that you can just search in the that would be the search bar at the bottom. So you'd see this dot Minecraft folder. What I'll do is I'll save it as a shortcut to your desktop because it just makes it easier. So click Send to Desktop Create Shortcut. And once you've done that. You can on your desktop. You want to click it. You want to go to find the bit that says resource packs. Click that. Drag it in. I already have two on there. Dolby D Craft and Sortex Fanzer. And XR that. Just Launch Minecraft like you normally would. And then you're done. You can in you can um launch Minecraft. I'll be back when I've launched it. So now I'm on and Oh, it hasn't changed. What have I done? You haven't done anything wrong. So <laughs> You go to options, you go to resource packs, you should see your the resource pack you downloaded would be in here. So click the arrow to move it across, click done, and then it'll it'll take a few seconds depending on how how strong your laptop slash computer is. And as well I recommend going to full screen which you can either go to options new settings full screen on and off or you could do fn f11 which is a lot quicker or if you don't have an option on your computer 
because laptops usually do have them, then just press F11. So now I'm on full screen and I'm just going to go on to this world called Texture Pack Preview World and it's a map I downloaded just for um, showing what the blocks look like and, and basically that's what it is in Minecraft with different texture packs. So, Basically, I'm going to just fly, and you can see all the blocks from here. Right, that's basically everything. Go down a bit. <laughs> so as you see, texture packs change the way all the box looks. Really cool. mobs and there'll definitely be a slight at least a slight change in it. so I'm just going to show my skin because you haven't seen it before and it looks so cool it's like it's because of redstone is epic it's got a basically a redstone hoodie guy pretty cool so thanks for watching guys i hope you learnt how to download texture packs slash resource packs and now they are and stuff like that and i hope to see you in the next video don't forget to like subscribe share Follow me on Twitter and follow me on Twitch for live stream. Bye!